On Saturday, the 23rd of July, Cardiff City coaching sessions began in Beijing. Led by Executive Director and CEO Ken Chu, the Bluebirds have been in the Chinese capital this week in partnership with the Welsh Government, the Beijing FA and Beijing 21st Century Public Welfare Foundation. International Development Manager Joel Hutton commented on the coaching structures and strategy being employed during this historic visit. This is the first day that we've been coaching since we've been here in Beijing. We've got uh, three coaches here, uh, myself as International Development Manager and Scott Young here as Club Ambassador. We'll be working in Beijing now uh, for the next seven days and we'll be replicating something very similar each day in a different area of Beijing uh, to what you see behind me, uh, trying to engage as many children as we can. The Bluebirds delegation visited the campus of Beijing 47th Middle School, working with over 50 youngsters aged between 6 and 16 all affiliated to Grassroots Side Sunshine Club. They then headed to Yuhun Primary School, delivering another two hours of coaching to 35 players aged between 6 and 13. And City were given a warm welcome on arrival, with Welcome to Cardiff City adorning this banner. Joel reflected on the cultural education the young Chinese players would be getting from working with the Bluebirds coaches, including club ambassador Scott Young and coach Ben Slade, who also spoke exclusively to Cardiff City player HD during the tour. We split the, uh, the children into three groups and they'll be working with three different coaches on a carousel session, so they get a, an all-round experience from three different coaches from Cardiff City Football Club. I think it's important that they have different voices, you know, so we've been having different coaches uh, they've been sw switching around every 20, 25 minutes, having different sessions, a new voice, a new challenge for them, so it keeps them on their toes and obviously they're looking at different aspects of the game then, which is important as well. We had a wide age group this morning, from older ones to little ones, I've been put on a session, loads of ball manipulation stuff, um, being dominant in 1v1 attacking, being dominant in 1v1 defending, changes of direction through channels and to be fair, all the, all the kids picked it up quite quickly, which has been really pleasing. The city coaches look to implement British methods and styles of play during the sessions, something their Chinese students were very receptive to. We've noticed when we play small-sided games with the young children that sort of they let the opposition have the ball and then uh, wait for them to enter their half. So we've uh, emphasised about getting out and pressing high up the pitch and trying to win the ball back as far up the pitch as we can then obviously they can create chances for themselves to score goals. When we went into small-sided games, we, we, we talked about pressing high up the pitch, which majority, I, I'd say, of British teams do. We also looked at how to play out from the back if people were pressing us and how to move the ball quickly in, in, in tighter areas, um, which maybe they're, they're not quite used to in China, but we, we encouraged it as, as best as possible. And each coaching session would then conclude with a customary group photo and presentation. The school's football teacher was awarded with a signed Cardiff City shirt, as was one of the standout players of the day. And the tour of Beijing will continue on Cardiff City Player HD with more to follow.